so I'm gonna be doing a haul right now and I know that I've been in this outfit for the last like six videos three actually two whatever this is my third video in this outfit I was gonna change into something else so that way it wouldn't be so repetitive but really I'm kind of lazy and all the clothes that I want to change into are in this box that I want to show you guys so Hello, my name is Samia. I do book related videos here on YouTube, but this is a little different. I'm going to do a plus size clothing haul. I am plus size and I'm doing a clothing haul. So I have Rue 21, um, H&M, Aerie, Boohoo, and a few other things I think, but I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So before I start though, my name is Samia. I usually do book related videos here. I'm doing something a little different. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't mind my background. I don't have anywhere cute to film except this and so I decided to just stay here. So yeah, I would love for you to like this video and subscribe so that way you can be notified when I post a new video. Again, I majority of the time I do book related videos but here and there I'm going to do hauls and fun videos with my family and vlogs and all that and so I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join our family here. So let's get started I'm just gonna start pulling things out and then I'm probably just gonna put them in a pile right there because I don't have anywhere else to put them so the first thing I got is this jacket thing from boohoo I got it in a US size 18 <clears throat> I usually wear a size uh, 16 pant and pant pants ew that was the most disgusting word I've ever said I wear size 16 pants and a 1x top I uh, I don't know if it's necessary to tell you my bra size just so you can kind of get the gist. That's kind of weird. But I'm a 1X top. Sometimes 2X depending on what I want it to look like. So, that's that. I did order some things in, you know, a little bit bigger so that way like this. It's a camo jacket and long sleeves, zipper, and on the back it says New York. Tokyo, Paris, and London in some pretty cool writing if I do say so myself. So it looks like that. It's pretty long and I'm just really excited to wear that in the fall time, which it's fall time. So I got a few hats, which is surprising because I don't wear hats because my hair, usually it's much bigger than this. It's wet right now and I can't show you them because I have my little ears on. But this one says all black everything. You probably can't tell, but it's just like a dad hat. Is that what they're called? Dad hats? I got one with a unicorn on it because hello, it's so cute. Can you see that? So cute. And then I got one that says hangry because hello, I'm hangry like all of the time. <clears throat> oh, and then I got three bras from Rue 21. They were like five bucks each and I've been wearing like the same bra from Victoria's Secret for like literally 10 years and it's like falling apart and it breaks my heart because it is the most comfortable bra that I've like any of the other bras, I think I just need to get sized. I currently wear a 38 double D and I probably need to get sized because any of the other ones that I buy that are 38 double D are so uncomfortable. But I bought these two, these three. Um, they're just like a basic nude one. This one, I really like the back of it, how it goes up. I should show you this way. How it goes up like that. I just feel like that's really comfortable and the material is also pretty comfortable. I did get extenders. I don't know if I was just struggling to put it on, but I did get extenders just to make it not as like tight. And this one I think I just paid like five bucks for and I really am happy with it. I've got two other ones that are all right uh, that I probably will wear but that one probably just because the material is the most comfortable. I got like a black lacier one and then a pink lacy one. Uh, yeah, five eighty seven for one of the bras. I'm not going to do prices. This is too difficult. I pretty much remember like a general idea of how much I paid for it. I don't ever buy things full price. Rarely ever. I think I paid like $15 for that jacket and this cup was like $3. $2. $1.97 or something like that. It's just like an iridescent tumbler and I love it. So there's that. <sighs> that was from Rue 21. Uh, also from Rue 21 I got these two little like fishnet socks that have bows on them. I have video ideas planned for these for a outfit for Halloween that I have planned like I just said and that's why I got those. I got this dress which I think is so pretty on. It is a off the shoulder dress that has like fringe on them and it looks like that. Oh my god I'm getting so washed out but it's pretty long. It goes about to my knees. It is off the shoulder like I said. I got this from Boohoo and it says US 16. I think I paid like $16 for it. I don't think I paid like over 20 bucks for like anything because I'm cheap AF. I got this shirt from Rue 21. I got it in a 1X. It's a tank top and it has a like 
choker built in with the crisscross. And it looks like that goes pretty long. I like it a lot. What's new? Oh, also from Rue 21, I think I paid like not even two bucks for this. That shirt, I think I paid five dollars for. Um, this is a pillowcase and it says messy hair, don't care. Because 99% of the time my hair is a literal rat's nest. Literally. Uh, from Old Navy, I'm sorry this is all over the place. This is not Old Navy. This is H&M. I got these shorts and I say size, size, large. And they're just like lounge shorts. Just for like lounging around the house. Maybe going to Walmart, maybe going to Target. I don't know. From Rue 21, I got this pair of socks. I think I paid... 15 bucks for those pay those shorts which is kind of expensive maybe it was closer to 10 probably closer to 15 because i remember i was like mm, do i want them but they would look super comfortable and so i got them uh i got these rose socks from rue 21 i think i paid two dollars for them i initially planned to wear these with like van looking shoes you know like the slip-on ones but i think i tried it on and with my chubby legs it just doesn't look cute and so i don't know what i'm gonna do now but we'll see i got a pair of knee-high white cream colored socks from torrid i got like four i got two sets um here's them in black and then i also got the same kind of ones somewhere in here uh that are like ruffled at the top black and white and so i got both of those and i think i paid less than 15 dollars for all four just because it was like a deal i also got another pair of those like short socks these say cute but psycho on the back and i thought they'd be cute to wear with like black van looking shoes but again chubby legs makes me look stubby and I don't know and maybe I just need to find the right outfit to wear it with I think I paid less than two dollars for those as well this is a US size 12 and from boohoo and it says girl power on it I haven't worn this yet but it's just like a long flowy shirt uh maybe five bucks six bucks seven bucks something like that less than ten for sure I'm sorry I just really don't have the patience to look through like eight pages of like invoices because I have a lot of stuff in here and I'm sorry and it's like from like this is collective by the way let me just say that I wanted to do a plus size back to school haul in August and I never got around to it and so I just kept the stuff in the box <laughs> and I like wore it so some of the stuff is kind of missing I'm sorry but then I made another order the other day this is from Rue 21 it doesn't say Rue 21 it says self-esteem but it's a 1x and I'm pretty sure it's from Rue 21 it's just a tank top and it has like that shark cut out you know and it has some detail on the top it's just a tank top. I thought it'd be cute. Tank tops I like because you can wear them in the summer, but you can also wear them in the winter with a cardigan and it looks just as cute. Um, I also got another tank top, what's new, from Rue 21 in a size 1X. I think, again, all these stuff I paid less than $10 for. If it was more than $10, i will probably just say something because I might remember. It's just another tank top. This one has, like, lace that you can see through, kind of, in the middle and at the bottom. I just thought it was cute. Um... Yeah, I haven't worn it yet, but because it's been sitting in a box waiting to show you guys. <clears throat> um, this is another one of those like flowy, just like plain graphic tees from Boohoo. I got this in a size US 16 and it says nothing to wear. Looks like that. Oh my god, is it dirty? Ew, did I wear this? When did I wear this? I don't remember wearing this, but that's that one. Um, I got another shirt and I haven't worn this yet. This, I believe, is from Rue 21. It says Baby Girl on the side and it's like a muscle tee cutout. But I kind of don't like the way it fits on me and I'm just going to have to find a way to make it cute, right? Right. Am I talking too fast? I just have so much stuff I want to show you. Also from Rue 21 and it says 1X, I got a cutout shirt and it has like a cutout of like a V and then kind of like a choker but really it's just a neckline. And it's cut out on a V. And it has like holes all over it. And it says cute but psycho. It has holes all over it. I haven't worn this out because I don't go out anywhere other than with my family. And it makes my boobs like pop out like way too much. And so it makes me uncomfortable to wear that around my family. <laughs> but maybe someday I'll have a social life and I'll go out and my boobs will look good. Um, I got this set. And actually the shorts are in the wash at the moment. And they might be downstairs sitting in the basket out of the dryer but I'm not sure I haven't worn it out and I don't know if I'm ever going to but I thought it was so freaking cute and I wanted it not as a set I think as a set it looks kind of funky but this with like jeans would be cute it's a hoodie and it has the cold shoulder and it also has like holes all over it so it's gonna be kind of hard to show but that's what it looks like it's a little cropped but like not cropped enough if I wear the right pants and then at the shoulder or 
at the ends of the arms it has little like bows that you can tie it in um so yeah there's that I haven't worn it out and it just comes with like pink shorts that look just like those purple ones from H&M but I think I wear those purple ones or pink ones just like going to sleep or walking around the house I might wear them out sometime who knows but I definitely wouldn't wear them together because I think it would just look kind of weird I also got a pajama set I didn't realize how much I love pajamas and this was just fun and so I got it it's unicorns and this is from boohoo plus it doesn't say what size I probably got in like a 1x or 16 or something um these are the shorts I haven't worn the shorts I just wear the shirt but it has unicorns on it, it looks just like that but I don't know where the shirt is so there's that oh here are the other socks these are the ones that have like ruffles at the top like like that uh knee high these are all knee high um torrid because you know chubby legs i got chubby legs but that's okay they're so comfy and they don't have to stress about like trying to find socks anywhere else that are gonna like not fit and cut off my circulation <clears throat> i also got that a tank top from rue 21 also on a size 1x it is just like the white one it's a tank top and it has the like the built-in choker you're not gonna be able to see it because it's black but it also has the crisscross cutout and the choker. So it looks like that. Pretty long. I like it. <coughs> yeah, so far I don't think I've paid very much for any of these things. And again, this is very collective. Like three months in the making. So please don't think that I... I do have a spending problem though. Actually, never mind. This was a 1X from Rue 21. It is like a hoodie. And it's like pink tie-dye on the top goes down uh, like that it's like a baseball looking something or other um it has a pocket here with a little heart on it if I can ugh, show you heart and then on the back it says cute but psycho I haven't worn it yet because of the writing on the back I thought it would be cute at the, at the time but I'm kind of scared to wear it out because I don't want people to read it and then be like judging me <sighs> oh my goodness also I have realized <sighs> I have a lot and they're not even all here. I used to buy underwear only from Victoria's Secret and to be honest they lasted me like a really long time like TMI kind of gross but like I threw them away if they were bad. I have underwear from Victoria's Secret from like years and years and years and years ago that are still like perfectly fine uh except recently I've been I literally have had like four pairs of underwear literally ripped to shreds from Victoria's Secret. Also I've gained weight and so they don't fit me right and so I had to find somewhere else to buy underwear and I bought some from Aerie. I do have some from Victoria's Secret because I just couldn't help myself. So I have like pink ones and then striped ones and this weird color one and this one and some penguins or something and these that say go coconuts on it and blue stripes and this one and this one and ooh, this one's so pretty but I know it's not gonna fit my fat. I was gonna say something else but I have people watching this. It's not gonna fit my fat ass. I have some polka dot ones. I have some lacy ones that don't fit me, I'm sure. Um, some more lacy ones. This one is so pretty looking. Tie-dye, so cute. And then this blue one that definitely, that's pink, but it definitely doesn't fit me. And so I just said, oh, and like another one that looks like that. So I'm not gonna like super show you my underwear. And that was kind of awkward, but if you need underwear, I definitely recommend Aerie. Uh, because it's good. It's good. It's good. Uh, I also have another pair of those shorts from H&M and it says large. They are like olive green colored. Look like that. Cuffed at the bottom. <sighs> then most recently I got this from Rue 21 in a 1X and it is like a cardigan. It's like a boyfriend cardigan and it has slits on the side but like it's long and so how do I show this? It's not like slits. It's just like it's cut a little bit like up the side. If I can show you properly, like, how much they're cut. But I can't. Here's the shoulder. And then... Nope, this ain't working out. <laughs> it's just, like, a little... I would be wearing this with, like, one of those white tank tops with the choker and the crisscross. I'd wear this with it. Or the black one. I'm gonna wear that for a video. Mm, black one and, yeah, super cute, right? Um... I'm out of breath, man, and this isn't even everything. I still have shoes to show you and accessories. This is a really long video. How am I gonna do try on with this? I don't know. Uh, this is a white shirt from Boohoo. I probably size 16. Yep, and it says the future is female. Hell yeah, it is. Girl power. Let's go. 
I also got a jean jacket from Rue 21. It kind of stinks, like burnt. I don't know. It smells weird. Uh, this I got in a 2X and it's still freaking tight on my arms. At the bottom here, it was like rolled up one more time and I literally like got stuck in it. It was terrible. But I got this for like 13 bucks and my intention was to put patches on it because hello. And it has this like ruffle on the back. There you go. And I was going to put like a big patch on the back. Uh, of Southside Serpents from Riverdale. Do you like Riverdale? I love Riverdale. I haven't watched it yet this season. Please, no spoilers. Um, there I am. Uh, but with this ruffle, it kind of just like... Come on, now wash me out so I can show you. It kind of just would like clash with it. And so I think I'm just going to put other patches on this and maybe just get a t-shirt that says Southside Serpents. My sister has one. I want to steal it. Um, I also totally was... This is, was an impulse buy, and it probably was too expensive. I think it was a little more than $15, maybe $17, probably way too much. It's a size 1X, and it's a leather skirt, or like faux leather. But I thought it was so cute, and I wanted it, but it doesn't fit me good. <sighs> it looks like this. Let me just show half of it, because like literally, I could take up the whole frame. Ew! Uh, just kidding, I don't care. Uh, obviously. Uh, it looks like that. It has like things on the side. It just has a zip on the back. It was really difficult to get on. I had to like zip it up on the front like this and then like shimmy it around to the back. Uh, it just, I don't know, I have a weird stomach. My stomach is too big. That's like where I have like most of my weight besides my thighs. And so it just like doesn't really look that flattering because it kind of just shows everything and I'm just like, Ugh. so maybe if I lose weight or something, it'll look better. But if I lose weight, it won't fit me. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll just wear it and be like, you know what? F this. Girl power. I also got this little like, I don't know what it's called onesie thing like snaps at the bottom and yep and it looks like this it's just like button up I thought it'd be cute but it totally shows my stomach like way too much it's just like skin tight and so it's like oh here's your belly oh here's your belly so I don't know about that I got this velvet dress and I have an idea for this for a Halloween costume that I want to use it with and so I got that but it's totally also like super cute and so I like it it is v-neck and then it goes down to there um it's not like super short and I really like it except when you like feel it this way it's like <sighs> but when you go upwards it feels really nice and so <sighs> I'm touching it weird and it feels weird. <sighs> I also have a shirt from I don't know where this is from oh Rue 21 I just got this it's in a size 1x and it's totally like witchy and I love it and so it's a shirt and it has a v-neck yeah that's so witchy right no like let me just the sleeves are like massive oh. I'm so excited to wear this I wish I was being like a witch for Halloween because I'd be the perfect perfect oh another pair of underwear how wonderful perfect shirt I got another shirt this is a off-the-shoulder shirt from Rue 21 it's in a size 1x and it looks like this and it has ruffles and it's really cute and I wore it out already oh I also have a pair of gray socks it was so it was the cream colored knit ones the black knit ones the black ruffly ones and the gray ruffly ones there was no white ruffly I'm sorry I lied please don't leave oh here's your belly the next one that I got this one is kind of cool but I'm scared it's gonna like pull off and pull my tatas out it is a size 1x and it seems really large for a 1x like all the other stuff seemed okay but this just seems a little large and it kind of freaks me out because it's like an off-the-shoulder it has like a little bandeau underneath and then it goes down and it's lace and it has like the shoulders that look like this and I just thought it was so cute except the shoulders it's not like off the shoulder where it's up here it's like off the shoulder connected to the side like that and so this is literally how you'd wear it and then you'd put this on and then you'd stick your arms in like this <sighs> and then put this on or this and then stick your arms in and so I'm just scared like if you move your arm the wrong way it's just gonna be like Bloop. so I don't know we'll see actually I don't want to see maybe if you wear a bandeau underneath but I'm like okay I'm, you know my bra size I'm not gonna be wearing a bra with this like what's the point in that like I don't know I don't know I can't decide can't decide can't decide almost done guys and then I just have a few accessories and a few pairs of shoes to show you and I swear that's it for today I got this tank top it's in a 1x it's just a pink tie-dye I thought it would look super cute with like a black chunky cardigan that was my planning with it this is for all my book lovers out there hello books <laughs> swimming in books here it says no thanks I'm booked all weekend and it is pretty 
princess. She's a princess. So it looks like that, and it's like tie-dye. I got in 2X, I think, because I want it to be a little bigger, and I'm scared it's going to shrink on me, because I really thought it was cute. I also got this crisscross tank top. It's inside out and backwards and stuff, but that's, like, the gist of it. It's white, and it's a v-neck, and I got to figure out the best way to wear it. I think I wore it the other day with, like, a chunky sweater. I can't show it. It's just crisscross in the back, and so it's throwing me off. It looks like that. And it's just pom-poms and pretty cute. And then also I got this shirt and my little sister doesn't know about it. She's going to be so jealous because my dad actually has a Corvette. And this is a size 2X and it says Corvette on it. And it has like the racing stripes down the side. It's like crop top but like probably enough that I can still wear like my normal jeans that, jeans that are high-waisted and it'll be okay. And so that was all of that. Where's my accessory box? Oh, I also got a whole bunch of chokers. Uh, I got this plain black one. I got this plain velvet one. I got this one that is actually plus size, supposed to be plus size. It's cloth and it has like a little button on the back. Um, I got this one that has a bow and it looks like three. Looks like that. I got this one that has a pom-pom on it and it's my favorite. It's so freaking cute. This one is just a like chain. This one is a set, looks like that. One is three, this one's velvet, and then this one's just like metal. And then I also got one more, and it says babe on it, and it's like one of the ones that you wear like across your neck. Oh, it's not gonna look good, but like that, you know, Kim Kardashian vibes. Um, I, again, plus size, so none of these actually fit me the properly. One of them I tried to like jankily put together. I used like a little elastic, you know, those little ones that like it's stuck in your hair if you have really thick hair. I just like connected it like that, and so that way it would fit. Um, but as I was noticing as I was wearing them, like with my double chin, it just didn't look good. And so I gotta do some neck exercises before I wear them and so I did get them I did get like the actual extenders like metal extenders from Amazon but I just feel like not confident wearing them when I have like a really big double chin that like hides them and so I don't want anything to like accentuate my double chin more than it is like I already have contour down there like come on what else do I gotta do neck exercises kiss the sky guys <laughs> Away, right now I just have a few pairs of shoes and then I promise I'm done I actually have another boohoo order that I'm waiting for but that one is just like all accessory so maybe it'll be okay if I don't show it if you guys want to see it let me know and I'd love to I first got this pair of combat boots from rue 21 uh, it was really weird because they go in sizes like small medium large extra large I'm a size 10 and so I got extra large and they actually fit me I think I paid 15 bucks for these or something Maybe even less. Like, they were, like, pretty cheap. Just zip up. I just had to, like, stretch them out on the inside, like this here, to make them fit. But other than that, I think it'll be really cute. Fun accessory. I got these, like, holographic black slides. I think they're cute. I think they're a little tight on my foot. Let me see. And so, I probably just have to wear them to stretch them out. Yeah, they're just, like, a little tight. Oh my gosh, they look so cute, though. Um, and so... They're just like a little tight on me, but look how cute those are. I actually had a pair of shoes from Victoria's Secret that were like slides like this, and at first they were really tight, but then once they wore out, they were like so comfortable, and I wore them with everything. And so I'm just gonna like suffer with these for a little bit, because it's so cute. Uh, I think I paid like five bucks for these. So super cheap, super good deal. Okay, just a few more guys, I promise. I got these ones, which look totally ridiculous, but I wore them out and I love them. Uh, they're fuzzy, little, like, slip-on shoes. Oh, let me show the other one. Look like that. I wore them out, and I literally couldn't take myself seriously, and neither could my brother-in-law. He totally hated them, but, like, oh, God, this is starting bad. <sighs> he just didn't want to be seen with me, and I was running around next to him. Just to tease him. And then I got this little, like, pair of, like, fake, like, cowboy cowgirl boots. They just have, like, little tassels on them. Look like that. I think I paid $12 for these. I just thought they'd be cute to wear with, like, jeans. Like, normal jeans. And then it looks like you're wearing, um, cowboy boots. But you're not wearing, like, the full-blown boot like this. You know? It's more comfortable to wear with jeans. This, you kind of have to wear your jeans on the inside. Unless you got big enough jeans, like, boot cut. 
boot cut to like fit around the top you gotta like tuck them into here like skinny jeans but with skinny jeans you can almost like just wrap the skinny jean around the top and then it looks like you're wearing a boot and so that's why I got those because I thought it'd be cute and I saw them at Target that looked just like this for like $35 and I almost bought them one time good thing I didn't $12 holla and this is what started the whole order is these knee-high wide width um boots and they don't have a heel they do had some that had a heel they had these in brown and I think like a tan color and they fit me so well and I'm so excited and I like them but they are like that fuzzy suede fake suede material I do have a pair that's like fake leather and they have lasted me years and years and years from Torrid they were like 80 bucks but I got them on for whatever however deal I got them for like 40 bucks and they have lasted me like probably almost four or five years now and so definitely I mean, I'm sure those will break down on me in like a year, maybe, or two, or maybe this year. I don't know. But this video is 27 minutes long, and I don't know how to edit things out because I just like to talk. So, and that was a really, really big haul. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and leave some comments down below. I know this was totally different than anything. I know the books in the background will probably freak you out. Uh, I hope to do more videos like this soon, but my credit card will not like me if I do that. They actually would because they want me to spend money. But... Let me know what you guys want to see. I would love for you to subscribe. Like this video if you liked it. Sorry I'm a little crazy. I can't help it. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like this video. Subscribe. Turn off your turn on your post notifications if you want to be notified when I post a new video. Which is hopefully three times a week. And I was going to say something else. Oh follow me on Twitter and Facebook. My username for both is Samia Alley. And I have a good reads if you read books romance books I read lots of romance also if you're new here hello hello um but yeah I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in my next video bye Ooh, here's your belly